Hey loves, Jay here with your reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old or new here, a welcome and welcome back. I am going to channel your uh, spirit message. We're going to start out with those messages, hop into your pre-spread, and then we'll jump into your tarot cards and clarify each of those. Aries, what I'm feeling is um, some of you may be experiencing a heartbreak of some sort during this time frame, but I'm hearing spirits say you're going to bat, bounce back rather quickly, which is a good thing, okay? And we know how you are, okay, Aries? You're popping and you're bouncing around and, you know, doing your thing and lots of energy. And so you're bounce, you're going to be bouncing back from that heartbreak, whatever that is uh, is for you. And however that's going to show up for you may not resonate with everyone here, Okay. I'm also hearing to watch your money. Um, be careful what you're spending on because you're going to need it for something. I don't know what that something is, but spend in moderation, save, invest, whatever resonates with your spirit at this time, but make sure that you are definitely investing um, or saving for a rainy day, okay? Someone, someone new could be coming into your life, Aries, again, not going to resonate for everyone here, but I'm feeling that energy of someone walking into your life. I don't know if that's a friendship or that's going to be an intimate relationship for you, but this remember that this reading is timeless, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen in this time frame from May 15th to June 15th, but just be open to someone new coming into your life. I'm also picking up a very nervous, anxious energy from some of you as well. Um, that that energy is arising. So make sure you get grounded during this time. You could do grounding, meditation, um, breath work is good. You can try the heart coherence, uh, heart coherence meditation, which is good. It's a very short meditation, so it'll help you get back in alignment. You can try the four, seven, eight breathing technique as well. Something I recommend to my clients because it's quick and it's easy. You could do it anywhere in the car while you're driving. But if you're feeling any intensity that is coming up for you, that is a great uh, breathing technique to turn to, okay? I'm also hearing reading is also good for you. So reading or research is going to put you in this place of feeling grounded as well. Slow down, Aries, okay? Slow down is what Spirit is saying and articulate yourself. There may be um, a situation where you're going to need to get your point across, conversation that you may be having with someone, a situation you may find yourself in. Spirit is saying to slow down um, and take a deep breath <laughs> and think before you speak, okay? Because we know sometimes you can definitely be quick with your tongue. Um, so make sure that you slow down, take a deep breath and think before you speak um, and make sure that these words are coming out from, from the heart space, okay? And not just spewing things out from the ego. Um, so some of you may already have a person in mind that this is going down with. Some of you are already feeling or have already experienced something with someone, uh, or this could be a new person, I'm not sure. All right. Your universal message is love is the reason. Love is the reason. Okay. Each person in your life is there for a reason, and that reason always has something to do with love. So remember to focus on love during this month. I'm feeling like a very... <laughs> feeling like a Valentine's Day energy coming from this love day, like um, a lot of heart-centered energy with this color pink here, the rose pink coming from the heart space. So remembering love is the reason. So really focusing on your heart space, which is why I was coming up with that energy of trying the heart coherence meditation as well. It's um, a very simple and very beautiful, get you in a place of being grounded in whatever is coming up for you during this month, any intensity, you can get back into your alignment. Your angel number for the month is 111, and this card is about uh, intuition. So if you're seeing 111, this is confirmation for you. This card is about moderation, which we just spoke about, okay? Spending in moderation and also speaking in moderation, making sure you take a step back and slowing down. So be patient, and that's another message that always comes up from my guides with everyone is to be patient because we're always in this fast paced mode and want things to happen so quickly. Okay. So patience is a, is a virtue. Make sure you're allowing yourself to be in the flow so that you receive clarity. Okay. One, one, one is about clarity. It's about joy. It's about movement, self-realization, taking action and unconditional love. You see that love is coming back up again as well. And I feel like if you're listening to your intuition, it is part of self-love as well, okay? 
time to implement long cherished ideas so when you're seeing this number you're on the right track toward making your dreams and visions a reality the right people circumstances and resources are being sent your way remember I said someone could be coming into your life okay happiness and new opportunities are at or at hand trust in the process here Aries 111 is your angel number from the romance angels if, for those of you that are in a romantic relationship or dating flirt card is coming out extend your lighthearted energy to others it has some again this is boiling down to self-love and love in general okay love and then the self-love self-care falls under that umbrella there so flirting this this month is uh, in, in Aries here I'm an Aries moon so uh, flirting I, I've always been a, a flirtatious person um, so <laughs> I totally get this energy that's coming up it, it's a, it gives you a sense of um, I don't know happiness and joy like we said with the 111 joy comes up like it's it's thing it's uh, an, an opportunity to make someone else feel good which is part of love okay um, the truth is, during this time, some of you may be filing uh, papers. A divorce may be an option for you. Divorce or separation that could be coming up for you in your near future. So those that you're, um, someone that you're dealing with here, very interesting. This could even show up as friendships that you're walking away from. Um, I did, I did say some of you may be experiencing some sort of heartbreak during this time this time frame. So this could be you walking away from a friendship or a friend, you know, having a friendship breakup okay and those are uh, those are friendship breakups are are pretty hard okay sometimes they're uh, they're harder than you're breaking up with an intimate partner friendship part um, friendship breakups are pretty intense okay so there could be something going on some sort of contract that is severed between you and someone there is I'm feeling a lack of communication a lack of, uh, of expression that is happening and this is why spirit is saying slow down take a deep breath before you articulate yourself make sure that you're not saying anything that you're going to regret okay this month you can focus on balancing your spirituality and practicality so those of you that are um, I should have looked at this full moon in Pisces um, but it probably won't be coming around for a little bit but um, full moon in Pisces here but balance spirituality and practicality okay so some of you may have Pisces in your chart I'm a Pisces Sun so I understand I could I could understand all of this what's going on the whole love thing and intuition I don't know about the divorce and the friendship breakups I've already gone through that I'm not planning to do it anytime soon okay so <laughs> balance is is key during this month it is going to put you in this place of loving yourself loving those that are around you which we've already said love is the reason for everything here so let's pull out your tarot cards here aries and then we will clarify each of these for you okay the most highest powerful and clear messages for aries please and i got this new deck so these cards are a little stiff so bear with me here. All right, Aries. All right, let's get your cards out here. So we have the Seven of Cups coming out, the Queen of Swords, the Magician, the Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, the Sun, the Four of Cups, and we have the Six of Cups coming out for you. All right, so let's see what's going on here for you, Aries. All right, so your overall energy for this time frame, we're pulling the Seven of Cups energy for you. We're going to clarify this. Um, if if some of you, if you are, this card, okay, so let, let me just start here. Um, this card could feel, the number seven could feel like a personal challenge that you may be experiencing. Um, and this is not going to resonate with everyone. But this is a card of um, an, a number of mystery and hidden wisdom and spirituality. And this is why we had that balance, um, spirituality and practicality that's coming out. So 
this card is about temptation. You may be decoys that could be coming up. Um, various various choices that may be on the horizon for you, making a choice about something. And I'm, I'm feeling for some of you, this is either going to be revolved around your relationship or your money. Um, but this card is about fantasy and delusion and um, imagination, inspiration and creativity. Okay, so let's just see what is coming up here for you. Why is the Seven of Cups here for Aries? We have the Three of Wands coming out, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles showing up for you. All right, so let's see what is coming up. I feel like some of you are thinking about something. I feel like you're make. I'm feeling initially somewhat, you're thinking about making a move. You're waiting for something. You're waiting for, you know, more money. You're waiting for the right opportunity. Whatever this is, I feel like, the sky is the limit and there's something that you are wanting to jump into because I'm as I look at the seven seven of cups in this set I'm looking at the number 10 so this feels like this could be a new start I'm feeling like a really refreshed energy that is coming from some of you here which is pretty cool um that I'm feeling because I know some of you have been sort of down in the dumps throughout the year and I, I definitely feel like um if you have been some of you may be teeter in between, in between, maybe I should do it. And some of you have been feeling a strong yes. So you're going to have to get clear on what is the right decision for you. But I definitely feel like this is a time for you to um, say yes to something. Some of you may be saying maybe because you're, you don't have everything that you need. But that is coming in. But part of that coming towards you is you allowing yourself to balance your spirituality and practicality, opening up to your intuition, leading your, leading life with love is most important because the Queen of Pentacles, she's all about abundance and stability here, okay? So this is you generating some sort of wealth or prosperity, okay? So you're waiting for something to make a move because you have a lot of things going on in your mind or you have a lot of opportunities that you need to make decisions about there's there's a lot of moving parts is what I'm feeling that's going on for some of you and so this is an opportunity for you to say yes to it and make the decision so if you're needing an answer to something that you have been teetering between maybe I'm still waiting and some of you are like yes but you haven't taken the action it is a yes okay it is a yes to jump into whatever this is that you're feeling intuitively that is right for you here Aries and go ahead and just and move forward with it nurture yourself okay whatever this is because some of you have been taking care of other people caring about what other people say um, in this situations with friendship breakups or breakups in general going through divorce and all of these things now this is an opportunity for you to say yes to yourself this is all about balance and love okay so that is your overall energy which feels like a new energy that is coming in for some of you that have been feeling down and out there is something that is opening up for you that is going to provide an opportunity for you to feel wealthy, abundant, uh, prosperous as well. Things are growing. I feel like you have gr grown through some of the circumstances and obstacles that you have been through, Aries. And now this is your time. Okay, so that is your overall energy here. Um, the um, Yeah, that's your overall energy. Um, I started with that first, but I meant to do most recent energy. But most recently here, I'll, I'll do this. Uh, most recently is the Queen of Swords, okay? So most recently, some of you have been in this, okay, energy of talking a lot, unsure about, you know, maybe even just popping off at the mouth or <laughs> whatever this is. But I do feel like some of you have been re trying to reg regain your strength and your confidence back because that had been lost because of the circumstances you, that you've been through. Um, but I do feel like you're in this position, you're opening up to something most recently is just starting for you to um, to open up to something that it's meant for you, which, you know, although we pulled these, um, we pulled these, I'm going to move this here because that was supposed to be second, but that is completely okay. Um, I definitely feel like you're definitely feeling more confident, more confident, more, um, you're feeling confident, stronger. This is also about you learning to articulate yourself. 
in a, uh, a loving manner, okay? But I definitely feel like things have been clearing out for you, um, Aries. And um, that's definitely a, definitely a step a step for the better, okay? Because the conflict and the issues that you've been experiencing have put you in a space, okay? Most recently, we have the King of Wands and then we have the Six of Cups. Yeah, so some of you have been dealing with things from the past, whether it's memories or friendships, relationships, um, that you had to you had to really see things for what they are, see people for who they are. Look how the, the Queen of Swords is looking at the King of Wands here. So... I feel like there's an energy of you um, sort of this King of Wands is yours, this learning how to articulate, learning how to speak your mind, learning how to speak freely, okay, especially when it comes to some of you are needing um, needed to stand up to someone is what I'm feeling most recently with the Six of Cups here, okay. So there's, I, I feel like there's just been a lot of communication, a lot of intent energy that some of you have most recently experienced, but I do feel like there's a lot have, that have that has been going on with you internally that you have been realizing about yourself and how you want to move out of certain situations because they didn't resonate with you anymore, okay? So I won't stay too long in that energy, but that was most recent, okay? So um, an obstacle that, um, an obstacle or challenge that may lie ahead for you during this time, Aries, we pull the magician, okay? So some of you may be in a, a mind frame where you might feel like you're having a hard time manifesting things. Again, be patient and gentle with yourself and remember to focus on love, okay? This magician, though, I mean, things are, some of you may be in this energy of like, I can't, I can't, and you need to be in an energy of I will, okay? So that's the challenge. I feel like the challenge is more of a mental challenge that some of you may be facing right now. And there may be, there, there may be circumstances, tangible circumstances in your environment that could be holding you back from moving forward. But again, for some of you, you needing to tap into your creative power and from, you may have been feeling stuck and stagnant in some, in, in some way in, in, in this place of feeling like I just can't seem to make things happen. I can't seem to make things work for me. Okay. This is this saying that everything is ready to go for you, but you have to you have to push through, okay, with this. And um, so for some of you, this may be a new feeling for you. This may be a new challenge or an obstacle that may have come up, like a new challenge that may have come up that you feel like has left you a bit stumped. But I definitely feel like you're gonna move past that energy. I definitely feel that coming up here. Okay, we have the uh, Nine of Cups energy. Oh my God, look at that. The Magician, <laughs> double confirmation, okay, with that. So some of you may be struggling with manifesting things right now. Uh, some, some of you are struggling with um, your spiritual connection as well. Maybe some of you are even in this position where you are talking down on yourself where you feel like you don't have the resources or the tools to move forward in something, okay? Some of you may even been, be in this place where it's hard for you to communicate about something. This is why Spirit is saying to slow down, take a deep breath, and articulate yourself. So that Queen of Swords being here and this magi magician is definitely pointing to you sort of slowing down, being open, being very clear about how you want to communicate and then getting your point across, being able to articulate that. Okay, so and being able to put all of this into place so that you can live a fulfilling life here because some of you may be feeling like I'm not living the life that I want to live right now and some things have to change. That is definitely going to come with you balancing mind over mind and heart okay letting those two work in accordance not balancing your mind body and spirit and really getting in the place of taking care of yourself okay so some of you are doing little things but you remember know that your thoughts are just things okay your thoughts are things it is the meaning the in the emotion behind the thought that will manifest okay so if you can you could speak affirmations all day but if you don't believe what you're speaking you're feeling opposite of the positive words that you're speaking the universe only hears only feels the vibration that you're giving off so it's time for you to do some work so some of you may need to reach out and get some assistance around what this uh, get some professional assistance or have an accountability partner to sort of get you over this hump. So that's an obstacle that may come up for you is um, being able to manifest and 
um, getting out of this mind frame of lack and limitation here, okay? So where you're headed during this time, we have the Queen of Pentacles that's coming out for you. So this is definitely pointing to you building a level of uh, of wealth and creativity is coming out as well. That that feel like that's at the forefront, okay? So this is you practicing good things like uh, practicing good business, practicing good health, practicing articulating yourself. Um, but this definitely nurturing nurturing yourself, even nurturing others as well. Okay, it's definitely going to help you move forward. Some of you, I'm here. I'm hearing um, have been like isolated and have not been able or not have wanted to share things with other people. But this is an opportunity for you to get out. Get outside is where you're headed during this time. Okay, because I feel like this isolation energy coming up for you. So where you're headed is definitely getting out. Um, getting out of your own way as well but actually getting outside grounding is very important which we've already mentioned initially okay so we have the hermit coming out and we have the six of swords so again i said isolation um, the hermit is about being in solitude okay so some of you have been doing the work internally or just staying in the house because you just don't want to be deal you don't want to deal with people and what i 100 percent get that i am on that vibration right now and sometimes you do have to take care of yourself just make sure that you're not hiding from anything if you are just protecting your energy I, you know for me being home I'm a homebody being home is like the most peaceful place for me I have a controlled environment it's my own bubble I can determine the the energy in the space and I don't have to worry about people coming in and out switching my energy because I am very empathic and sensitive so I totally get it if some of you are like, I just want to be in the house. I don't really want to be around people like that. Take your season. There's a season for everything, okay? But I do feel with the Six of Swords energy here that you're going to be getting out. You're going to be moving away from that energy that you were in. And that doesn't necessarily mean that energy was a bad energy or it was dark. But some of you have done some work, okay? That shadow work, that's what the Hermit is about, doing that shadow work. And, and finding your light, finding your peace. And I do feel like you're going to be moving, okay, moving towards something else, moving towards more of a calmer energy and getting outside with the Queen of Pentacles here. So that's where you're headed during this time is getting out um, because you've had your season of um, tuning in, tapping in, releasing things. And now some of you are in this position of wanting to have a little bit of fun. What's coming towards you is the Knight of Wands during this time. Okay, so this is some intense energy. So I definitely feel like this, well, this is definitely part of your energy here, <laughs> um, is really getting out, being a little bit more extroverted. I'm feeling an enthusiastic energy that's coming for you. That creativity is coming towards you. So some of you who feel like you have been like in this position where you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what the next step is. I feel like when you're coming out of this isolation point or this point of solitude, um, whatever it is that you have been experiencing and you're getting out, you're focusing on love, you're grounding yourself, you're going to feel very creative. So creati creativity is coming towards you. So this is a very dynamic um, dynamic energy here that's coming towards you. You're going to be feeling inspired. Um, some of you are even the career, this is career driven energy as well. So you may have, you may be whatever you had been waiting for. Now you have put the pieces of the puzzle together and you're going to be moving in the direction of making ish happen. Okay. <laughs> I love this. All right. So I feel like there's a, a, a strong high, like a high motivation um, that is coming that is coming towards you as well okay so you're going to be taking action again like i said the creativity is going to be coming out this is going to be a phase of you growing and some of you have already been growing through your plate phase of isolation or solitude but this is going to be now taking everything that you've learned and like putting it to the test okay look at the queen of swords she's coming out again we pulled that in your um most recent energy so i feel again some of you are still working on setting clear boundaries um, being more open and receptive, being more uh, transparent, being more forward with uh, with um, your boundaries and being more clear about how you communicate. So a lot of those things, it just feels like a new energy that is definitely coming up for you. Okay. I'm feeling a free a freer spirit that is coming up for you. Ace of Pentacles is energy is here. So whatever this is, you're, this is definitely going to be a new energy that you're walking into. For some of you, 
like I said, this is going to be revolved around uh, career. This could be even you, some of you taking out an investment or receiving money so that you can invest, but it definitely feels like a prosperous opportunity that is coming towards you, okay, that you're going to be open to because I feel like you're going to have a clear vision now to be able to see what this is and the pieces you have been missing and you're putting it all together now and now you are going to be accepting whatever this is and this is prosperity okay so this is financial abundance so some sort of financial opportunity is coming in for you whether that is you being promoted or you're changing careers um, whatever this is someone giving you money or you you know receiving a loan or hitting the lotto whatever this is there is a money on the horizon for you okay but remember, Spirit is saying to make sure that you're, you spend in moderation. So this could be that excitement with that with the Knight of Wands that's here, that excitement of, I have money now, and I just want to go spend it on all the things, okay? So make sure in moderation is your theme for the month, in moderation, okay? So that's what's uh, coming towards you. What's happening in your near future, Aries? We have the sun, and I love this energy because this is about happiness and optimism. It's just such a beautiful card. I'm feeling an excitement that is coming from this. It is the happiest card in the deck. So whatever this is say, is pointing to, you're going to be successful. You're going to be happy. You're going to be, prosperity is going to be on your side. You're going to be attaining your goals here. I just feel like a freedom, okay? A, a freedom that some of you are going to be feeling, okay? So wealth, also focusing on your health is most important too. So make sure you're staying out of stress, which which is why spirit is asking you to make sure that you ground yourself, balance your spirituality as well as your practicality. But I do feel a lot of happiness that is coming up for you in your near future areas. And I love this. And it's because some of you have just been growing and now you're glowing. We have the page of pentacles and we have the chariot. Yes, I love this energy here because this is an opportunity where you're going to be starting something new. Okay. You've already, like I said, You've already gathered everything that you needed. Some of the things that you feel like you were missing. Now you have it. You have it all. You're putting it all together and you're making it work. You're taking the next step in something. And the chariot is saying, yes, we're going to move forward. We're moving on with this. We're going to take action on this and we're going to be successful. So we have the chariot as well as the sun. Beautiful energy here. I also feel like a, a sense of confidence and accomplishment that is coming up for you as well, Aries. So there's a lot of beautiful things that are on the horizon for you that you're going to be obtaining. You're going to feel glorious, magnificent. You're going to be glowing, okay, continuing to grow. This um, chariot as well is reminding me of the balance as I look at the Sphinx, okay, the red, the yin and the yang energy is to make sure you're balancing things too. So make sure you're not heavy in one area, okay, you're spending too much and not saving, you're working too hard and you're not playing, um, you're loving someone else so much but you're forgetting about yourself. Make sure moderation is your key balance during this time. Okay, so that's what's happening in your near future. There's a lot of happiness coming up because you're going to be starting something new and walking into it and taking off. Okay, some of you are going to be becoming a star. You're going to be building something as well. Some of you could even be buying your dream car that could be coming up. You could be buying a home. But whatever it is that you have been trying to put the pieces to, towards, whatever it is that you have been wanting that you feel that is going to make you happy and take you to the next level, you're going to be taking the steps to make that happen during this time. Okay? Your advice for the month is... <clears throat> We have the Four of Cups energy that is coming up for you, okay? So um, definitely uh, Pisces Cancer uh, energy here. So some of you uh, may feel like you're, the, you may feel um, uh, emotions of like feeling disappointment and discontent. And I'm feeling for some of you, some of the things that you have been wanting to accomplish, you maybe have wanted to accomplish it with someone else. So, so maybe you were in a relationship and, and maybe things are now taking off and you kind of like have this feeling of, I wish this person could have been a part of this. Okay, so um, don't fall into discontent. Okay, know that everything is happening for a reason. It has happened for a reason because someone could have been blocking you from receiving this prosperity and wealth and love and all of this balance that you are going to be experiencing. So don't fall into um, 
this self-pity energy, okay? Don't seclude yourself, okay? This is, again, you getting out, getting grounded, having a good time, okay? Let me pull some cards around this energy here. Why is the Four of Cups here for Aries? This is an opportunity to uh, reevaluate things and reposition yourself to move forward. So make sure you don't get stuck in whatever emotions or obstacles that may come up um, because you feel like maybe you're not worthy or what the case may be. Just make sure that you continue looking forward. The Nine of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So some of you may get into a position where you're feeling stuck, overwhelmed, exhausted, like you're just trying to, you're doing too much to make something happen. Take a step back to reevaluate this. Like take a break. This is the time. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a time to, um, to, like I said initially, reevaluate. But the grounding, okay, the grounding in moderation, okay. So. I know Aries, you're a fire sign and you, when you go in, you go in all in, but make sure that you are taking time to take care of you so that you're not draining yourself, which is this nine of wands that's letting me know like this could be exhausting, overwhelming for some of you. Take a step back and also remember the things that you have accomplished, where you've come from so that you can appreciate and continue to appreciate the journey that you're on because you're going to be building the King of Pentacles. You're going to have all of the things that you have, you want, whatever you have been working towards. It's going to be a success. So know that there is no race to the finish line. It is going to happen in right timing. So don't force anything. It is all going to unfold organically. Make sure that you are taking care of your mental health, your physical body, mind, body, and spirit during this time of investing in whatever this is that you are trying to accomplish. So that is your advice. Your final outcome for the month is the Six of Cups. That cup that is coming up again. It just makes me feel like there's something that could be lingering for some of you or someone could be lingering or this could just be emotions that you have about something from or someone from the past. Let's pull some clarifiers. Why is the Six of Cups here for Aries? one more we have the nine of pentacles and the page of wands okay i love this energy so i do feel like some of you are going to be rebuilding or physically building something okay so some of you could be rebuilding um a, your child home rebuilding a replica of it or rebuilding your relationship with people from the past this could be mother father this could be friendships whatever this is you're going to be rebuilding something with someone or t physically like building something as well okay so i definitely feel like travel could be coming up for some of you as well page of wands you need to take a step back and just sort of reevaluate the whole situation some of you could decide to move somewhere else as well okay so i feel like it's somewhere outside of where you currently live with the page of wands i'm feeling like this could be a, a foreign country for some of you but again it is somewhere I don't want to say far because it doesn't, I mean, it depends on your perception of what far is, but it's not where you currently are. Some of you are moving somewhere else. So you may be even buying a house somewhere else. Okay. Some of you are even moving closer to your family as well, which is why the six of cups is coming up is that's about home. That's about family things about Pat about the past as well. Okay. So it, whatever this is, I feel like it's, you feel this feels like it feels comfortable it feels right in your intuition okay it, i feel like it feels simple for you to just go back to something that felt very nostalgic and made you feel happy and peaceful some of you are leaving behind the rat race and maybe living moving to a simpler life moving to a state or another country where it's less expensive or maybe less chaos i don't know about the less chaos per part but um <laughs> Um, but you feel at home, okay? So this definitely feels like some of you are moving somewhere else, and um, that's that physical act. And some of you are moving past things that you have been holding on to from the past, okay? And I feel like it's going to be a very abundant energy that you're going to be feeling. You're going to be moving on, and just take your time doing this, Aries, is what I keep hearing take your time there is no rush this is a part of your life where you're exploring new avenues whatever that is maybe whether that is in business or a relationship take your time 
that is your reading Aries. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I will see you guys very soon. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Be sure to like, comment if this resonates with you and um, share this with your family and your friends. I'll see you guys very soon. Many blessings and love and light, guys. Peace.